Hi readers, this is Miss Bouchard from PS11 and today I'm going to teach you how to use thought prompts to grow an idea about a text. Prior to starting, I want to reflect back on the recent jots that I've captured in my reader's notebook. As I look through my work, I want to focus on an idea that left me with a strong impression, something I either want to keep thinking about, questioning, or feel moved by. This is important because to grow an idea and to push my thinking into a deeper theory, I need to commit to something that speaks to me and makes me feel a powerful connection to what I'm reading. As we've been reading Stone Fox, each day I've been collecting observations, notes, ideas, and questions about the story. One idea that I just keep revisiting is that the main character, Little Willie, is persistent. This idea keeps popping up in my jots. Like I can see here, he wouldn't move, so Little Willie pestered him. Over here, I can see that he was also persistent when he said, we're a family, we're going to stick together. Because this idea keeps popping up, this makes me think that I have a lot more to say about this. Once I identify this as an idea that I want to further explore and grow, I can think about this as the tip of the iceberg. With this analogy, the tip is my initial thought. And what lies beneath, beneath the surface, are reasons or thoughts that eventually lead up to this idea. One way that I can push myself to think about what lies beneath the surface of my idea is to use thought prompts to consider the idea more deeply. Some of the thought prompts that I could use to further push my thinking might be, well, why is this? Could it be, maybe, also? I'm now going to use thought prompts like, could it be, or maybe is it because, and also to further push my thinking about why Little Willie is persistent. By using thought prompts, I took an idea and made it more reflective and thoughtful. I grew something that shows a deeper understanding of the text. This is how you can use thought prompts to push your thinking and grow an idea about the text. Try this out next time you go off to jot in your reader's notebook.